you've made a lot of corruption. For instance, we've just had the Farlam Commission looking into the deaths of the 34 miners in August 2012 um, at, at Marikana, and uh, you and other members of the DA have been saying, look, um, current Vice President, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa, who was a director of Lonmin, the mine operator, operators at the time, you know, they should be investigated and so on. Investigations being carried out and uh, any allegations of misconduct on his part have been found to be groundless. It's the police commissioner who has been targeted with the most criticisms. The police commissioner still keeps her job today. The ANC speak. have said that they want an inquiry we, into her, so you need an inquiry before you deal. Can you, you imagine in a democracy like the UK? 36 people lose their lives at the hands of the police, and the police commissioner keeps a job. I pending think an inquiry, we mustn't pending debate. an inquiry into we, her specific actions we've in had the light enough of inquiries. the criticisms. We've had enough inquiries. The Farlam Commission was set up to investigate. But it's an example of the kind of corruption charges that you make, which are subsequently not substantiated over in Candler, the upgrades to President Zuma's home. You said you should be appear on charges of corruption and so on. We had the public protector's report to Lisa Madden Seller saying, actually, Jacob Zuma was not corrupt, she said. He benefited unduly. Yes. But, you know, that's a different thing from saying corruption. So you make these allegations and they're not substantiated. It's not at all. The eight charges of corruption are laid with the police. I've been given an assurance that they will run an investigation into. The difficulty is that President Zuma himself has been able to be, has been given the right to A, appoint the National uh, Director of Public Prosecutions, you, yeah. which means that in fact the investigation takes much longer which than it can. Which one are we talking about now? Because I've moved the, on to Nkandla. The Nkandla yeah. investigation. Yeah. I laid charges in Nkandla, eight charges of corruption. Saying that President that President Zuma. Zuma is unduly yeah, benefited. I'm just saying to you, the public I've protector also, says he unduly benefited, but was not corrupt. And in it's fact, must pay back some of the money. Yes. I've never, in this particular incident, I argued the case to say that the president must pay back a portion of the money. Mm -hmm. The president's response was to say the public protector is a keen only to an ombudsman. He reduced, and my argument has consistently been, we cannot reduce the powers of the public protector to that simply of an ombudsman. But that's a different we matter from allow... what I'm raising no, from no, no, no. you. The you are raising the question about works. corruption. Okay, but the in Minister for Public works now, Tulas and Kassesi said in May this year that there are disciplinary proceedings underway against 12 public officials for possible misconduct over the constructions at, at, at uh, President Zuma's uh, But if you, if, you, if you can recall, and this is for me where this big issue uh, is a challenge. I'm talking about political accountability here. At one level, uh, ANC politicians seem to be able to get away with the fact that okay. they can blame officials. A plane lands in Vatterklok, they blame officials. In Kanda, 256 million rands of South African okay. taxpayers gets wasted. And nobody takes political accountability. Well, there's an inquiry underway is, over these officials. But so how I'm just long, saying how long should your the allegations project, don't The project stand in Kanda started in 2009, okay. and nobody has taken political accountability. And when I argue the case about corruption, the president then okay. has the right to decide who can investigate. What about FIFA? We've had corruptions uh, con over that controversy over the, the hosting of the World Cup by South Africa. The South African Football Authority say, no, we did not do anything incorrect or whatever. Briefly, what do you want to see happen on that? Well, once again, the US has made very strong uh, statements about saying that there were allegations of a bribe being paid. We've asked for the Minister of Police to come and account because ultimately he, uh, uh, I mean the Minister of Sports and Recreation, ultimately as a government project, he was responsible for. And if South Africans are paying a bribe, then there must be political accountability taken for that. And so here in this instance, we've asked for the Ministry of Police to come and account to Parliament. We've asked for Danny Jordan, who was the CEO at the point, to come and account so that ultimately we can get to the bottom of whether a bribe was paid or not paid. But if there was a bribe that, that was paid, as, as what the U.S. has put forward, those who are mm -hmm. responsible for paying the bribe must surely end right. up in jail.